Hello YouTube and welcome to another video by Virtual Worlds. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how easily you can export an FBX model in Unity and then import it into Unreal with the textures. Okay let's get started. First of all you're going to want to open up your Unity package and go to Assets Store and where it says search for assets type in FBX exporter and give that a search and it's this one you want here, FBX Exporter. Click on that. And then I've already got it installed, so it just asked me to import it. I don't need to do that because it's already installed. Go ahead, download it, then import. Let it all import. And if you can't find this uh, FBX Exporter, the link, will be in the, uh, the link will be in the description. So feel free to have a look for it there if you can't find it on the Asset Store. And once you've got it installed, go to your uh, scene view. Uh, drag out whatever model you want to export into the, into the scene. I've chosen this little building here from a nice little asset package. Click on the building or the asset you want. And then the, when you go to your hierarchy over here, the one that's selected will be the, the model you just selected in the scene view, which is the building. Right click. And as you can see, we've got a new option available to us called export to FBX. You right click on, like I said, on the building one. Right click and come down to X export to FBX and then you're going to want to make sure you want to give it going to give it a name we're going to call ours building test and then give it an export path wherever you want to save it to export leave it as binary but if you're having trouble bringing the textures along with the model into Unreal then choose ASCII but leave it on binary should be good enough it's more modern uh, include models only because you don't want animation or models and animation because if the model does have animation um, Unreal probably won't recognize it and it'll probably mess up your mesh so leave it on models only uh, LOD level if you have all levels it'll, it'll export all different levels of detail meshes uh, with the mesh you're exporting if you click highest it'll just select the highest LOD, uh, LOD level and export that and if you set the lowest, it will set the lowest LOD level of your mesh and export that. I leave it on highest because I only want one model. But I'll go ahead and leave it on all levels. Just in case it does have LOD. And then object position, leave it on local pivot. Animated skin mesh, leave unchecked. Compatible naming, leave checked. And export unrendered, leave checked. And when you're ready, go ahead and click export, which is down the bottom of the panel. Go ahead and export. Now that's done. We can shut we can shut down Unity. We no longer need that. If you look if you want to look for your file by default, it will have saved it under my documents. So go to documents. Then whatever your project's called in Unity, look for that. Mine's called Back from the Dead. So I open that up. Then we go into assets from there. And then scroll all the way down till you find your mesh. I haven't spelled it properly. Uh, let me just go ahead and spell it properly building test dot fbx that's the one you're looking for the name you called it dot fbx then drag that in have unreal open and drag it into unreal into your content browser somewhere and then you'll be presented with this import options what you're going to want to do for the majority of the time you're going to want to make sure this one's selected combine meshes so it imports as one import mesh lod's if you've uh selected on unity to export all levels and it does come with lod's your mesh does leave that checked but we don't have any lod's in this instance so we don't need to have it checked have convert scene on it's up to you whether you want force front x axis but it usually helps to position the mesh I leave auto compute log distance checked and then down the bottom here if you can't see it if you can't see it for whatever reason, there's these little drop down arrows. Just click on that and then make sure import materials and textures is checked. Then go ahead and import all. Just give it a few moments. As you can see, importing building test, importing FBX mesh. We just got a little warning there, but that's nothing to worry about. And as you can see, in this folder, it's imported all the textures and materials and even the model. If you get the model and drag it out, as you can see, 
it's in relative scale can't really see much around the back there we come around here as you can see the mesh is now being imported into unreal but if you go to play that it won't actually have any collisions so what you can do to give it the best sort of collision but it's a bit cost heavy if you have too many instances of it on your high poly meshes and you don't have any volume occlusion it can weigh down your system resources quite a bit if you have quite a lot of instances of high poly meshes without any volume occlusion but i have a tutorial for that in the same playlist as this video so if you want to go and watch that feel free but for now we're going to add collision to this mesh so double click on the mesh the actual file for it in your content browser it'll open up the uh, mesh preview window then what you're going to want to do is uh come down here on the details panel to you get to collision over here look collision and come down to where it says collision complexity it should be on project default which is no collision really and come all the way down to the bottom to get to one that says use complex collision as simple click that give it a save and now if i just get my pre-made character blueprint put him in there just rotate him a little bit and play and i'm just touch on pupil and if we play as you can see our mesh is imported to scale with textures and if we run up to the building you'll see we can't actually walk through it it's got it's got a collision on it it's quite good because you can walk in little dips there look see and it, it it adds a collision to the exact shape of the mesh so whatever shape the mesh is the collision will be exact wrapping the fit round the actual mesh so we should be able to walk into this little bit into this little dip and get blocked off by there and there you go youtube that's how to simply import a mesh from unity into unreal if you like this video at all please give it a like uh thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed already please do so thank you again and goodbye